Hi, I'm Nuno, and today I'll be telling you about the design process behind Hong Kong U Med's lobby. So before I start designing, normally what I like to do is I like to look at the general surroundings before I'm working with the space that's given to me. So here we're at the medical school campus. And first of all, it's located away from the main Hong Kong U campus. It's a cluster of buildings. And what I've noticed upon my first visit was generally there was a lack of social spaces. And so I really wanted to take this opportunity in renovating the lobby to create a gathering space. What the lobby was like before, essentially, it was rather cold. Uh, the floors and the walls were lined in stone, but there were some great architectural potentials with the space. There was a great ceiling height, which is quite rare in Hong Kong. There's also a really beautiful west-facing facade looking onto trees and water. So let's dive right into the lobby and understand how the space works. So the lobby connects to the main entrance which is the outdoor drop-off area. And at the center of this lobby was a staircase that was very wide. It was up to five meters wide. And what that allows was fast circulation. But if we wanted to create a social space, it's important to actually make people walk slower. So what I've done is I've reduced the staircase to 1.5 meters. What that allows is it makes people walk slower and the rest of the spaces become seating steps. And so at the center of the lobby now is a wooden step that is designed for students to gather, to chit chat, to have lunch, to work. And it is really the core of the lobby design. So let's talk about the design concept behind this lobby. I wanted to create a space that was unique to the medical school. And what comes to mind oftentimes is we associate the color white with the profession. So I really wanted to create a white space to relate to the medical field. And so what I've imagined is the ceiling is like this cloud and it's so voluminous that it fills up the space and it engages with the human scale. So as light comes in from the window, light hits the ceiling, it goes through all these panels and it really creates a bright and airy space. Every morning, the interior lights are whiter and it matches the sunlight. And gradually throughout the day, it becomes warmer. And as sun sets, the interior lights dominate the space and the ceiling becomes a lantern. With this play of light, the space is the perfect informal spot for students and teachers to gather. And at night, the space is great for more formal events that are necessary for all types of school activities. So a bit more about how the ceiling actually works. The ceiling actually hangs like a piece of paper and it's hung on what we call U channels on both sides. The whole system is completely screwless. So we've transformed this lobby into a social space where students and teachers can feel the changing seasons intimately in a space they use every day. Most lobby designs oftentimes rely on more luxurious materials, such as expensive stone. And here, instead, I've relied on very ordinary materials like white paint and perforated aluminum panels, which you can find anywhere in the city, from bus stops to MTR stations. And so the message is for me that through the use of these ordinary materials, students from any background, through hard work and innovation, has all the means to succeed.